It's a great pleasure to be here. Making good sounds just isn't good enough. Especially if you're a boy like Billy. One of three kids, Billy and his family lived below a line called poverty. Billy was seven years old, and he was already on a difficult path. He was caught stealing several times. He was acting up in school. He had poor marks. He was labeled a troublemaker. One day, musicians from Sistema New Brunswick showed up at his school. He got to hold and pluck a violin. He heard them play the music. He loved the sound, and he thought to himself, I wonder if I could ever do that. He filled out the form, his mother signed it, and then he waited. A kid like him, he couldn't imagine he'd be accepted. But he was. He entered Sistema New Brunswick. He began to advance on the violin. His teacher gave him extra lessons. Unusual for him, he was now singled out for doing well, really well. Almost immediately, he became more focused and a better student. Showing real promise, Billy was entered in the local music festival. He won gold and first place, and he had his picture on the front page of the newspaper. He was selected to play at the festival gala. For that occasion, for the first time in his life, his family bought him a new set of clothes. When he finished performing, there literally are no words in the English language to describe the emotional embrace between Billy and his family at the front of the stage. That's the transformative power of music. And this is now one of hundreds of stories I could share since we started Sistema New Brunswick nine years ago. But this doesn't happen by accident. It's a choice, and it's one that became clear to me and to others that making good sounds just isn't good enough anymore. Instead, we chose to harness music to change lives. And by the way, the sounds are pretty fabulous, too. <laughs> So let me back up. In 2007, the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra had existed for four decades. It was a very traditional youth orchestra. Seventy kids, best talent in the province, chosen every year by audition, and largely coming from middle and upper income families. And we all saw how much our kids were benefiting from this program. But we began to think about the kids that were left out, and not just left out of the NBYO but left out of most of the good things that life has to offer. And we thought to ourselves, surely we could do better. I heard about El Sistema in Venezuela, a program of social change through music for children and youth. In 1975, Jose Abreu founded the program with 11 children in a parking garage in Caracas. He gave them instruments, and he said, you come back tomorrow, and I'll teach you how to play music. Within a month, 1,000 children were learning to play. Today, more than a half a million children and youth participate every single day in Venezuela. Inspired, we decided to see it for ourselves. And so in June 2009, our small delegation from New Brunswick traveled to Venezuela. The first children's orchestra center that we visited was on the edge of one of the barrios. Uh, as we approached it, outside, we saw intense poverty, crumbling buildings, graffiti, gangs, no reason for hope. The contrast with what we found inside couldn't have been greater. There in front of us, we were seeing how El Sistema was changing the lives of thousands of children and youth. Could this work in New Brunswick? One boy in the Nucleo Los Chadas gave us an answer. He was actually our teacher that day in Venezuela. Pedro was nine. His hair was disheveled. His clothes were old and worn. He didn't have a cello board to, uh, to hold his instrument. And so he took his belt off, and he put the flat end under the chair leg. And he used the belt buckle to hold his cello to the floor. He took his seat, and when the conductor signaled, he threw himself into the music with complete abandon. Instantly, Pedro was transformed, no longer a child of poverty. The pleasure of the moment was exquisite. 
The room was awash in sheer joy. We were dazzled. The future was bright. Pedro and the rest of the kids transported themselves and transported us to a place, to a new place where anything is possible. The incredible power of their own accomplishments was on display. The nurturing impact of playing music together was on display that day. And inside me, this conviction exploded. Who wouldn't want this for all of our children? But to act on that conviction, we required a massive change in our organizational culture and focus. We knew we'd never lose the drive for excellence in beautiful music. Uh, that, that drive took the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra to perform at Carnegie Hall in New York and at the Forbidden City in China. But we realized a sober truth, and that is to pursue social change, we had to change. At every turn in society, we are faced and confronted with immense challenges. Poverty, income inequality, exclusion, insecurity, conflict, opportunity gap, the loss of hope. And so I've come to believe in that context that we live in today, that making good sounds is just not good enough anymore. Musicians, music making, and music education organizations have to have a wider responsibility to the community and the society that we live in. Our focus must be to be better musicians and teachers, yes, but also better citizens. Our mission must include not just higher levels of musical accomplishment for the few, but the creation of better futures for all. I don't believe orchestral music is the only uh, tool for affecting the social change that we're pursuing. But having seen what has happened through Sistema New Brunswick, I now am utterly convinced that orchestral music is unusually potent in the lives of children and that making good sounds then just isn't good enough anymore. In October 2009, three months after we came back from Venezuela, we opened the first Sistema New Brunswick Center here in Moncton at Beaverbrook School, one teacher and 50 children. We now have nine Sistema Centers in the province, more than 15 orchestras, 58 teaching artists on our staff team, and every weekday, 1,100 children gather to learn how to play orchestral music together. Sistema New Brunswick is the largest program of its kind in Canada and a leader at home and internationally. And Sistema-inspired programs can be found now in more than 60 countries around the world. And so social change became the new lens through which we view everything. It started with our mission statement, inspire children and youth to achieve their full potential. That's a social mission, and we do that through music and the orchestra. Our organization has been transformed, but more importantly, so have the lives of many, many children. When kids are left out, they're not just at risk. The risk is already reality. They're being harmed. There are devastating consequences. When kids are left out, they are more frequently absent from school. They fall behind in literacy and school performance. There are more behavior problems, fewer finish school, fewer go on to advanced education, more are unemployed and underemployed. When they have no opportunity and no options, no way to belong, grow, and thrive, they lose precious potential and their futures are jeopardized unless the community provides a different path. So we have three guiding principles in our work. The first one is inclusion. We prioritize children who otherwise would not have opportunity. The second principle is intensity. The children participate three hours a day, five days a week. And we all know you can't get really good at something without time and dedication. And getting good at something, achievement, is the thing that is the key to their social development. The third principle is excellence. We have very high expectations for learning and for performance, and we have found that children rise to the challenge. The results for the kids have been profound. 
They attend school more consistently. Their behavior improves. Their grades go up. They show more confidence and self-esteem. And they achieve impressive levels of musical performance far beyond what anyone would have thought possible. Unleashing children's potential is what excites me the most about Systema New Brunswick. Children in this context are teaching themselves their own capacity. They connect the dots between their hard work and dedication and the incredible achievements that they have in music and as part of the orchestra. And for many, for the very first time, they realize, I can do things. And recognizing their own capacity can transform their life. This year, we'll have our first high school graduate. She's a double bass player. She's progressed through Sistema New Brunswick, the Moncton Youth Orchestra, and the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra. We're so proud of her. Uh, she's been accepted to McGill University Faculty of Music. Next year, there are more than a dozen others, and coming behind them are more than a thousand others. Just last month, eight of our Sistema and NBYO musicians were invited to Mexico City to be part of a youth orchestra workshop. Some of the students didn't have passports, and some had never been on an airplane before. In Mexico City, with 160 other young musicians, selected from across North America and South America. They were coached by some of the best in the world. The musicians of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra were their coaches in Mexico. The great Mexican composer Arturo Marquez, the internationally renowned conductor Gustavo Dudamel. Our violinist was the second chair in this orchestra of 160 kids from all over North and South America. Our bassoon player was selected for a solo in the concert that was played at the National Theatre. Our trombone player was the only female in an, in an otherwise all-male trombone section. They did so well musically, but they were also wonderful ambassadors for themselves, for the NBYO, for our province, and for Canada. I nearly burst with pride at how they conducted themselves. I live in a world where every day I'm humbled and touched by stories of the Billys, the Pedros, of Jocelyn, Erica, Malcolm, Lily, Santiago, and hundreds of other kids in our programs. I am more convinced than ever that talent is universally distributed in the world, but opportunity is not. And yet, when given the opportunity, the Billys and Pedros and all the other kids with talent experience beauty, not only in the music, but also in their lives. And friends, that's how we change the world, one piece of music and one child at a time. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>